A lot of Americans are very upset that they don't get a voice or a vote in this battle over how to handle uh, the crisis. Lieutenant Christopher Oliveras with the Texas Department of Public Safety is with us right now. I know you've been in talks, uh, Lieutenant, with Eagle Pass's mayor about DPS possibly taking back authority. Who's an authority now, and how would that help if DPS steps back in? Well, good morning, Agent. So last month, I was here prior to, uh, actually after Title 42 in May, uh, DPS, our state troopers, National Guard, actually were able to have control of Shelby Park, where you're seeing those crossings taking place in Eagle Pass. And what I mean by taking control, we were able to place infrastructure, uh, Constantino wire along the riverbank, we had boots on the ground, state troopers, National Guard that were manning the area within a six mile radius of Shelby Park. And we were able to stop the flow of some of those crosses that were taking place. But most importantly, we were able to arrest illegal immigrants that were trespassing through the Constantino wire um, or other state violations, single males and single adults. I'm mean, sorry, single adult females and single adult males that were able to arrest for state criminal charges. Now with that, that sends a message that there is a deterrent in place that if you do come across and violate state law, you will be arrested. Last month, the city council of Eagle Pass rescinded the authority to where we can no longer, as a state a, a state agency, make arrests at Shelby Park for state violations. So with that, that's what you're seeing right now in these last couple of days where you see a massive influx of illegal immigrants coming across because without those tools to take enforcement action, there's no deterrent uh, measures in place to prevent illegal border crossings. And that's why we continue to see this influx taking place in Eagle Pass. Predominantly in those groups are single males and single females. Just most recently last night, uh, the mayor of Eagle Pass did authorize the Texas Department of Public Safety to regain control of Shelby Park. So this morning we will have additional state troopers, National Guard, and we will start making arrests for state violations on those individuals that violate any type of state law, whether it be criminal, mas criminal mischief or criminal trespass or any other state violations along the river there at Shelby Park. But how do you, when you arrest those individuals, I understand that that might stem some of this, but don't you have to end up releasing them again? Well, we don't release them. So they go through the whole state system, the whole court, the court, the whole court process. Once they're done with their case, once their case has been adjudicated, we then turn them over to ICE officials. Mm -hmm. So we do not release them into the city or into the streets. They are turned over to federal agents. And then from that process, there's either a removal proceeding or whatever the case may be. So obviously once they're in the hands of federal agents, we no longer have responsibility of those individuals, but they do go through the whole court system, the, the process in the state of Texas. And as I mentioned, once they are done with their case, we turn them over to Border Patrol agents. I think a lot of people are seeing these images. Uh, I mean, you look at 4,000 crossing at Eagle Pass. I remember when that amount of people would have constituted a caravan. Uh, in the mass media's reporting of these numbers, but it doesn't seem like this is organized. This is just a huge influx of people coming at the same time. We're seeing 2,000 people cross every single day this week in San Diego. What do you think it's going to take to convince the federal government to step in and actually call a halt, a cease to immigrants crossing into the country, if that's what needs to happen? Right, so I just want to add to that. So obviously we saw close to 4,000 yesterday in Eagle Pass. On Sunday, we had over 2,000 in the same area in Eagle Pass. So of course, the Mexican the Mexican cartels, the drug cartels, criminal smuggling organizations in Mexico, they know what they're doing. Uh, this this is by design. They, they, they create this issue. They create this massive flow of people coming across the border all at once, not just in Texas, but in Arizona. And that is to distract and take away resources, federal resources from the border so they can focus on processing. That way now they're able to bring across drugs or any special interests, illegal immigrants across the border, criminals, suspected terrorists. That's where we see those, those national security and public safety threats. But to get to the root cause of this problem, you have to have a policy in place that's gonna prevent illegal border crossings between the ports of entry. Crossing between the ports of entry is not an authorized um, area or an authorized um, a, a, you know, situation where you can claim asylum, there has to be a process in place. There has to be consequences. You cannot just allow people to cross women and children between the ports of entry and then release them and give them a notice to appear two, three years from now. That's not going to solve the problem. That's going to create a much larger problem in the future where now you're going to have millions in the country. They're not going to, they're not going to deport them. Right. They're not going to have any type of removal proceedings because it's going to be too late. It's going to back up the system uh, as far as asylum claims. And those that have been in the country right now that are doing it the legal way, they're at the back of the line now. It creates a much larger problem for those individuals that are trying to do it the legal way. So again, 
you got to have a policy in place that's going to stem that flow, prevent those unauthorized crossings, and have consequences in place. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.